What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. Today we're talking about the jailbreak release for the A10, you know, the patched check rain that has been released by a developer called Exploited. And they basically announced, quote, iOS 14 jailbroken on iPhone 7 A10 using patched version of check rain. You have to disable the password though. And they posted a report from what seems to be Pango. And then of course, they also show the device being jailbroken. Everything is legitimate in here. Don't get me wrong. This does work and it's actually legitimate. However, I do not recommend you to use it and you're going to see in a second why. Now, for those of you who are new, Check Rain is a jailbreak based on a bootstrap exploit. It works from 12.0 all the way up to 13.7, perfectly fine on the iPhone 10 and lower. And it also works on iOS 14, is the only jailbreak publicly available that works with iOS 14, basically 14.0, 14.0.1 and possibly 14.1, but I did not check that. And it's actually quite a good jailbreak. However, with iOS 14, some things have changed. Apple introduced a new security technique because they cannot patch check rain. It's based on a bootroom exploit and bootroom exploits cannot be patched. So they introduced a clever technique on SEP or the Secure Enclave processor. So basically in order to use check rain, you have to open the computer, uh, get the check rain application, put your phone in DFU mode and connect it in here and press start. That's the whole procedure. What Apple did in order to patch it in iOS 14 was to make SEP or the Secure Enclave processor be unable to decrypt the user data if the phone is booted from DFU, which is required if you want to jailbreak with check rain. So a SEP bypass was needed. Now for the A9 and A9X devices, they found one, but for the A10 devices, which means the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPad 6 and 7 generation, iPod Touch 7 and even the iPad Pro 2nd generation, those devices needed more work. Now apparently the check rain was working on that behind the scenes and they were actually able to do it to make it work however with a huge caveat and that is that if you use the currently available patch it will not allow you to have a passcode on your device or a password which is actually a huge security hole because if you don't have a passcode and you lose your phone or anybody else gets it in their hands they can see everything in your phone you know your photos your contacts your messages your bank accounts your social media apps so it's a huge security issue and that's why the check rain did not release this patch and that's why check rain for the moment doesn't support 810 devices on iOS 14. Now what this developer in here did was to release a patch for that but without check rain team's permission. This is not an official check rain version it's a patched one by a third party which is actually quite bad because at first this means that a lot of patched check rains which are not official will be floating around which is already bad you should never use a patched version of something Thing. you should always use the official version available from the developer and not randomly patched ones from the internet and it also means that a lot of people will be throwing away their passcodes and passwords in order to be able to use this please do not do that the check rain team will release an official version when they are ready and when it doesn't create such a huge security problem please wait for that and do not use this hacky way in here this is not malicious or anything like that the whole patch works and it does what it's supposed to do basically enabling a10 and a11 devices to work with the iOS 14 but I would definitely not advise you to use it not because it's bad as I said it does what it's supposed to do but because it's a bad way of doing it it's a bad way of adding support for the a10 devices on iOS 14 since if you use it you will never be able to have a passcode or a password again on your device please wait for the official version which removes that problem actually one of the people working with the check rain team replied to this guy releasing this and they said quote you just single-handedly demotivated an entire team coerced a ton of people into throwing security into the wind and created some really bad PR for jailbreaking kind of makes me want to abandon our efforts now not gonna lie so we should say that the check rain team is not exactly very impressed with this patch so I would definitely advise you to stick with the check rain from the official website which is checkray.in what they basically did in here is to patch a check in the check rain. The check rain that is available here on the website already does support what they released in here, but it has a check which prevents it from doing it because of the security issue. It's a move that they did with the security of the user in mind. What this person here did was to just throw away that check so that check rain would try to jailbreak that. So yes, what they released in here does actually work. It's not fake. It's not going to destroy your device or anything like that, but if you use it, it's unofficial. You're not going to get any support from the check rain team 
and you're going to have to throw away the passcode or touch ID or face ID or password or any other lock screen protection from your device, which is a huge disadvantage. So yeah, that patch has been released. If you really, really want to use it, you can, but I do not recommend it, especially on your main device. Thank you for watching. I am Geos now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.